Hey everyone, just want to do a quick video for you. Um, try and keep it as short as possible. I have a Navien um, two, uh, NCB240E tankless water heater furnace. And I kept getting a error code E351. Um, searched online, didn't really find much. Um, some guy suggested changing the water pressure sensor. I did that brand new. Um, didn't work. I uh, still was having an issue. I was having uh, low PSI. It was about 10 when it wasn't calling for anything. Um, so I'm going to show you how I fixed it and hopefully it'll help you. So let's start by taking the cover of this off so I can read you what the error code is, even though I'm sure you already know. So there's four latches if you don't know yet. Okay, I'm going to take this off. So. This right here is the water pressure sensor. This is what I replaced. It's labeled WPS. Again, um, you may want to start here. I'm not sure if this really did anything. Um, mine is from 2017. Um, so I don't think that that was the problem. Um, but just another suggestion. So anyway, um, E351 on the back is telling you, uh, let's see, E351 abnormal auto feeder valve and tells you to contact technical support. When I did that, um, he asked me if I was a contractor or a homeowner. Once I told him I was a homeowner, he told me hire a contractor. So don't, don't waste your time. So the way I fixed it was this right here. Um, forgive me on my terminology, um, but this controls and you're able to adjust your water pressure for your system. Um, so what I did here is, I believe they call it force filling. Um, you take this lever here and you push up. All right, now when you push up on that lever, you're gonna hear um, kind of like a water noise or air noise. Um, and once you look at this PSI up here, you should see that increasing. Um, I would suggest doing this while all the thermostats are off, no hot water is being called for. That way you could see the correct pressure um, when there's nothing being called. I have mine set to about uh, 18 when nothing's being called, no heat, no hot water. Um, and right now it's at 23 because it's calling for heat. Um, so I just figured I'd give you guys that video, see if hopefully that provides some clarification. Um, please leave a comment, let me know if that helped you as well. I'd love to know if I can help somebody. Um, one last note, just some of the um, Symptoms I was having was I would be in the shower, the water would go from extremely hot to extremely cold. Um, the heat wouldn't get up to temperature. Um, so when I finally come down, I would see on the LCD screen, it would say E351. And again, there was only one video that I found where it was a plumber and he said to change the uh, water pressure sensor, which I did, and not very effective. So save yourself the money. I don't know if it's a temporary or permanent fix. Um, but by doing this, I would assume it's temporary, but I've been good for, you know, three weeks, almost a month now. And the pressure hasn't dropped from what I've said it to last time. So again, uh, let me know if this helps you drop a comment. All right. Thank you.